Hey guys, I went to my local dollar store and got me four pan pizza plates. I already have this string and cooking oil. I'm gonna use all of these to align the wheels of my SUV. What? Okay, so before anything else, do this at your own risk. I just want to share with you what I did a few years ago. And I got some negative feedbacks like, Oh, you're gonna change your tires every year now. No, I use those uh, tires for more than four years before I changed them. And uh, if you watch my videos, you, you know where I go. So uh, I think that's uh, on, on the average. Uh, in terms of uh, using a actually a cheap tire like uh, I like what I buy so um, let's start okay first things first jack the car up put it up here we have space and for two of these I'm gonna use two of these So you can't put them together like this because of the outer edges, you cannot, they cannot move. So I'm going to put them on top like this so they can slide, but oops, we need more clearance. Okay, now that we got the tire higher, I'm going to use cooking oil. So this is just to reduce friction it in between the two pans. Okay. Okay. It's ready. That's it. Okay. Now let me Put the car down. Okay. Alright guys, so this is my setup. I want my string to be really stretched out so the bottom piece is actually not touching the ground so this is a straight string straight line you can see the difference this side is almost touching the tire well this has a big gap I can feel I can put my finger in so uh, this method is not actually it's not perfect but it assumes that the back wheel is a straight which is I know that it's straight because it's the front suspension that I changed something underneath so I did not touch the back the back part of the the car just underneath here so this needs alignment so you can see the difference touching the wheel big gap now we can do some adjustments underneath okay before you make your adjustments make sure that this nut is loose Okay, so which direction it's up to you it depends on the toe of your vehicle so mine is towed in so I need to bring it out this is the passenger side Okay, brake we need to check so my wheel was touching here it moved going in so now there's a space or a gap but the back moved outward so same thing so we're gonna make our adjustments 
here going that way almost just a little more before I can fit my finger now just a tad just a small space a few more turns all right guys so this is perfectly straight how do I test it tap it not much movement not much movement back wheel not much movement so this side is straight okay once you're happy with your your adjustments you can lock it with this nut oops opposite it's just hard to do with one hand so I'm gonna use this Okay, so this is the driver's side, same procedure, this is touching the string, well, this is not, go all the way to the back, not, there's a big gap, okay. Okay guys, so I am done, passenger and driver's side, they're all straight as straight as the string okay so for those of you who are um, should I say uh, non-believers I don't expect you to believe the same uh, procedure treat this as an educational video or entertainment video but if you backtrack my videos I did this a few years ago and a lot of people are saying well some of them are saying that this is bad it's gonna make your wear it's gonna wear your tire sooner okay it's easier to go to 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 the dealer or to a place that aligns your your tires but at least this i know that my my tires are straight as straight as a stretched string okay how can you curve a stretch string that's my question anyway so these styles are two years old you can check my other videos where when I installed this 245 by 65 by 18 if I get two more years then I'm happy okay so and by the way these are cheap tires okay so there you go I don't expect you to do the same, but I'm just sharing my DIY journey with other YouTubers. Thanks for watching.